Good afternoon, Seth with MK Carpet Cleaning. Uh, this is our first job we had today, uh, February the 10th, Monday morning in Archdale, North Carolina. Um, it's a one bedroom with the living room. What I'm doing in this video uh, right now is I'm spraying down our um, uh, pet odor treatment, our pet stain treatment, rather, the uh, pet odor treatment I'll spray down here in just a minute. And I'm using our little uh, moisture uh, detector reader putting the prongs into the carpet and it's letting me know where there's moisture at. Um, and you can see right there, there's several spots and stains uh, from the puppies that uh, we'll show in just a few minutes, uh, cute little dogs. But uh, this is some of the uh, results from them. And uh, like I said, this is the treatment that we're spraying down. Uh, it's set on there for approximately maybe 45 minutes to an hour, at least in the uh, living room it was down for an hour, the bedroom it was down for probably 45 minutes. But this is our Hydro Force that we're using to spray down the uh, uh, the pre-spray that uh, has a special brew we mixed up just for uh, this carpet uh, with the uh, pet uh, stains and the pet odor. What I'm doing now is I'm using our Orc Orbiter. We like to use this a lot of times when we uh, spray down our pre-spray or after we spray down our pre-spray. And what this does is it works the pre-spray deep into the, uh, the carpet fibers and uh, helps break up some of the soil. Um, there's a, a lot of dog hair in this carpet, so this helps uh, lift it up and we'll pull it out. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll show you just exactly how much dog hair we got out of this carpet. Uh, but uh, this Orc Orbiter is a really, really nice tool. Uh, it's a lightweight, and it uh, also does a great job, like I said, uh, really breaking up that soil and uh, getting that pre-spray down deep. And we especially wanted to use it, uh, even though we're using the 360i, um, a lot of times we don't use this if we use the 360i, but we used it today just because of the pet uh, odor, the pet urine and stuff. And uh, I'll show you in just a few seconds, you'll be able to see just after using this how much better the carpets look compared to before. And uh, a lot of guys use this just to clean carpet. Uh, we don't like doing that. Uh, we like using the hot water extraction method for most of the time. But, uh, you can see right there again, just look how much better the carpet looks coming up here into the bedroom. But now we got the 360i out and we're going over the carpets. This is really, really going to make the carpets uh, come out and look really good. Um, you'll notice here just uh, in the video it's sped up. But uh, even with it sped up, you can see how, how slow I'm going. I'm taking my time going and making sure we're flushing out that urine and uh, getting the stains up as best we can. Um, uh, if you don't have a 360i, this is a really, really great tool. We really love it. Uh, it helps us out a lot. Uh, it's not as quick as using a traditional wand, and I won't even say that it's better than using a traditional wand, but uh, as far as for us, we like it better. Um, although there are some jobs we do use a wand if the carpet's not that dirty and there's not that much uh, soil to get up. And you can't see the uh, the tube but um, in the 360i, but if uh, you can catch it every once in a while, you can look at it, it's clear, and it lets us know whenever we're sucking up uh, clear water versus whenever we're getting up dirty water. And that's one of the nice things about this tool is you can uh, really see it and uh, uh, tell if you really need to hit a certain area, if uh, it's getting up uh, red mud or yellow uh, or any other color. You can just, uh, it's one of the nice benefits of having it. And uh, not to mention you have three jets and three vacuum slots that are spinning around. 
and you can control uh, how fast they spin and stuff like that. It's just overall a great tool. We're very pleased with it. And if you look up here in the top right, you can see that's a little puppy over there. He was barking uh, for the most of the time that I was cleaning. I think he wanted me to let him out um, and play, but uh, I didn't want to try to fight him back in there. But as you can tell, again, I'm going really slow, just taking my time. Uh, when I take the vacuum cuff off, what I'm doing there is uh, getting up the dog hair that uh, the rotovac is uh, not sucking up completely. It gets most of it. Again, at the end of the video, you'll see just how much so. But uh, when I take the vacuum hose off, I'm just getting up those pieces of dog hair that came loose. And uh, now I'm putting the air movers out. I put those out especially in the, the worst area because I wanted it to dry as quickly as possible so it wouldn't wick back or anything. So I had those going. But typically these carpets dry pretty quick, and usually three to four hours and it'll be dry. Sometimes if you uh, put a lot of water down, um, maybe perhaps with these carpets it may take about five hours, but typically that's as long as it takes. And I'm really hitting this area right here, the entrance area, getting it several times. And the reason why is you can see the tube right there. It's just sucking up dirty water. So I wanted to get as much of it as I could. And as a matter of fact, I didn't, uh, didn't stop getting it until it started getting clear water. All right, we're finished. And I'm showing you the after. Everything came out great. It looks really good. Uh, we're very pleased with it. And um, what I'm doing now is I'm taking our carpet rake and grooming the, uh, the fibers helping them stand up straight. This also will aid in the uh, drying process. It will speed it up some. And uh, a lot of times we'll, we'll ask the customers if they want us to uh, groom the carpets before we leave. Some will say yes, some will say no. Um, actually, the majority of them uh, say no, not to worry about it. They don't mind the swirl marks or the wine marks. Um, but I did it for these particular carpets just to speed up the drying process. Um, now this particular house, we clean it uh, two or three times a year, and this has really helped the carpets to stay clean longer and to, to last a lot longer too. And now you're gonna see coming up the, uh, the lint, uh, or the dog care that was, that our 360 I got out of the carpet, but that's it, we're pretty much done.